What's at stake? Antonia Maioni is joining us. She is a political commentator affiliated with McGill University coming to us today from Montreal. What's at stake for the bloc today here, uh, Antonia, uh, and the pressure on their leader, Yves-Francois Blanchet? Well, interestingly enough, he's he's entering this debate almost as a front-runner uh, because his he and his party have been doing so well in Quebec. And part of that reason uh, has been his performance in now this third debate. This will be the third debate that he'll be performing in. Blanchet is coming across as someone who understands the issues that are important to Quebecers, that is willing to defend Quebecers on a variety of different topics, and also someone who can hold his own uh, against the other leaders and the other parties, not only in, on the debating scene, but also, as we're seeing, on the ground in, in some pretty important races across the uh, the province of Quebec. Mm. In terms of the NDP and the bloc, it seems to me that that is the number one threat for Jagmeet Singh, is this resurgence of the bloc, particularly outside of the area of Montreal. What, what's happening in those ridings? Why are people moving away from the NDP? Well, if you recall, the NDP is, you know, in relatively speaking, a recent phenomenon in Quebec. And the roots have not proved to be very, very deep. One a great example is the writing of Chambly Belleuil, where Mathieu de Dubé is a two-time uh, NDPer who's now polling third or fourth uh, behind the other parties. And in fact, that's the writing that Blanchet, that Yves-François Blanchet is running for. So I think that almost crystallizes what's happening to the NDP uh, in writings across Quebec. They're losing and they're losing badly. Can I ask you as well for Andrew Scheer? There's a lot at stake here for him. It's not his first language. Uh, in certain cases, whether it has to do with abortion or other issues, uh, for a lot of Quebecers, he would be offside in terms of their views. Uh, and yet the Conservatives uh, do still have a lot of support in areas around the provincial capital, Quebec City, and across the St. Lawrence, the Beauce region as well. Uh, what is the best he can hope for tonight? Well, Andrew Scheer is going to be talking to his base in Quebec, so he's going to be trying to do what the Conservatives had always tried to do, which is to capture Quebec City, capture the castle, and mm. keep it. But I don't think he's going to try to get anywhere farther across Quebec. But he does have to have a good showing, because it's not only the debate, right, Todd? It's the spin that comes afterwards. So he's got to have a good showing to show that the day after the debate, uh, the Conservatives can say they did well as well. Mm. What about Maxime Bernier? Is he a wild card in this? I mean, he was not in the TVA debate, uh, the first French debate. He will be there tonight. Uh, this is a guy who, of course, through his father, has a lot of political roots in, in one region of Quebec anyway. And this will be an opportunity for, I gather, a lot of Quebecers to sort of see him up on stage for the first time. What do you think? Yes, that's true. He was in the TVA debate, so this is the first time Quebecers will get to see him. But he's a known quantity in Quebec, right? We know who Maxime Bernier is. Uh, and I think what we saw on Monday is pretty much what there is. And I'm not quite sure that that is something that will appeal to a broad base of Quebecers um, in this election. Mm. What about Justin Trudeau? Uh, you know, you know, five weeks ago, of course, seems like forever ago now, it looked as if the Liberals were sort of on the verge of, of actually increasing their seat count from 2015. They won 46 seats or so. And Trudeau, I think the strategy for him anyway was, you know what, I may lose in Atlantic Canada, I may lose in Western Canada, maybe I can pick up some seats in my home province. Is that strategy out the window? Well, it was a good strategy, but it's not looking like it's paying off in the sense that we're not seeing movement in key areas where where the Liberals might have ex expected to gain seats. Um, but still, uh, Mr. Trudeau has to perform well in this debate because it's going to depend on some close races where it's going to matter how the seats swing. Uh, so he if, he if he has any hope of picking up any other seats, he's going to have to do very well. He's also, I think, going to have to prove himself prime ministerially. This is the last debate before we go into the ground game and into the election itself. So he does he can't be AWOL the way he was in many respects on Monday, where he wasn't really engaging as much and showing that he was a prime minister. Uh, I thought that was lacking, and let's see what he does tonight. Antonio Maioni joining us from Montreal, political commentator with McGill University. Great to have you on. We'll see how it plays out. Thank you.